Good day, friends. It is me, HL Mod Tech, and I had a user reach out saying, hey, what do I do if I want to scale the objects that are locked in Tinkercad? I've got a solution, so let's get cracking. All right, friends, so here's where we're at. A user wants to use the connectors that are in the hardware chunk. When you bring one of these out, there is a problem. It is locked. You can't stretch it, you can't scale it, so if you want a different size, you're out of luck. Let's bring out the socket, and you can see there's a reason why this is locked. If we rotate it uh, 90 degrees to stand it up, and you bring it over to the shape, because they are the exact same size, they're going to fit when you 3D print them and they connect. I'll even do a line so you can see that a little more clearly. And then I'll hit T for transparent, and you can see how well that fits. It's a nice connector, it's 3D printable, and it's, you know, nifty. All right, friends, so if you've got to have them a different size, let me show you how you make them so they scale. Click on just one and hit export, and we're going to export as an STL. This one's going to be called female, this one's going to be called male. I'm going to just put them in my download. Female. And then I'm going to separately export the other one. This is important that you have them separate for testing. So with those exported, now all we do is go back to import. And when you import the STL, let's bring in the mail piece and let's just keep it the same scale. So friends, this is where you need to come up with what size you want to make yours. I'm not doing a real project here, so I don't know the size I want. You could do shift stretch and just get it to the size. You could bring out another part that you knew you wanted to match. Say I had a sphere that I wanted to be exactly this size. Then I could just move them beside each other to get them to the exact size. The other option that you have is if you knew the percent you wanted to scale it up, when you import, you could actually pick it. So this time when I bring in the female one, I'm going to tell it I know I needed 125% larger than it was and it will actually do the scaling for us. So you've got several options to get it scaled to the exact size you want. You can see that scaled it to the exact size I needed. Don't forget you can also do T for transparent. Make sure that they fit the exact way you thought as you get ready to 3D print them and then use them in your projects. So there you have it friends, a quick way to take any part that is scaling locked and bring it back in so that you can adjust it to the exact size you need. Friends, if you found this video useful, please give it a like. Please also hit that share button so more people can learn about HL Mod Tech. Of course, if you've got a question, comment, or suggestion, add it down below. And if you haven't subscribed yet, what are you waiting for? Smash that subscribe button. And last but not least, hit that notification bell if you want to be the first to know when this brand new video from me, HL Mod Tech. Thanks for watching. Have a great day.